But let's talk about that Cubs highlight we just saw. So the Cubs trying to figure them out. They come in today, half game back of first place behind the Cardinals. I guess we expected them to be better, right? Why have they not? What has been the biggest deal with their inconsistency? Well, I think for, for me, uh, I think the Chicago uh, Cubs, they've struggled a little bit in the back end of the bullpen, right? And, and obviously, when you sign somebody midseason like a Craig Kimbrell, you just expect him to go out there. You think he's fully rested. You think he's just going to go out there and get the job done. What he has not done is that. He has not gotten the job done. I think he's got an ERA around seven right now. And that can, you know, I think he's only thrown like a 11 or 12 innings. It's not like it's been a huge workload. But I think for them, if they want to find themselves back in the playoffs and playing meaningful baseball games, this guy, for me in particular, needs to turn it around because it's going to be a lot of tight games, especially in that ballpark. I mean, everybody's hitting home runs over there. So you're going to need that guy in the ninth inning to shut those games down when the game's on the line. For me, Nick, the, the big topic, the big question is Cole Hamill's health, and today a very good answer for good the Cubs today. in that mm -hmm. regard. He really good. And if we see this Hamels for the next two months, the Cubs will be the Central Division champions. Because when you look at this rotation, one through five, and yes, that still matters to some teams in some instances here, the Cubs rotation is deeper and better than Milwaukee's and then St. Louis's. Yes. They simply have a better tempo with their group Kyle Hendricks has, has come on really and I think really adapted a lot of different times this year and, and is now, I think, one of their more reliable starters. Agreed. Darvish, quietly, has gotten better, too. Lester is Lester. Quintana is Quintana. This is a very yep. good group of five starters that's going to be able to rest the bullpen by going deep into games. I would expect the Cubs will be among the league leaders, major league leaders, in innings pitched by starters from now until the end of the season. And if that's the case... The Cubs win this division. I will say this, and I don't want to overreact here because I really like Milwaukee, but tell me if you feel the same way. You know, we talked about the Red Sox, and this kind of feels like a, a, a really important couple days for them coming in only four games out. Uh, this feels like a really important couple days for Milwaukee for me. You know, they have not played well at all. Uh, their starting pitching is all banged up. I, I feel like this today, tomorrow, boy, I, they're, they're at a breaking point, I think. They are, and remember, they began this weekend at a disadvantage because... Josh Hader was used on three consecutive days in Oakland, the last of which they lost. So when you lose your, when you use your closer on a day that you end up losing the game on a third straight day, that has a multiplier Huge. effect. You've lived this, Nick, yes, for, for days afterward. The Brewers are living this right now. And you're, to your point, Kevin, and, and to tie it together to the Red Sox early, maybe the Red Sox had a quiet deadline, but I understand why because they won the World Series last year, and it's hard to get that same group of players in some ways over the finish line again, right. and you're changing out pieces, doing the very best you can. That's why that the Brewers, I believe, their chance to have a big deadline was either 2017 or 2018. I believe the Brewers missed their best chance to win a World Series with this particular core. Wow. That, that, this is the argument for them to have been more aggressive last year. They were one pitcher away from toppling the mighty Dodgers in seven games last year. One pitcher. They were, they, they were able to get to a game seven by basically having two starting pitchers in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That was remarkable. But if they'd had a third, if they had made a, a big move last year, very different story. The Brewers might have been in the World Series, and it would be much easier for them to take what's happening right so now. We got Monday morning quarterback I over here. I love it. JP's hey, right? coming out hey. firing. <laughs>